Hello friends! Have you ever created a long animation and would find it useful to be able to jump to a specific frame? Maybe to move between key drawings? Or to just be able to mark a frame so you know what changes there? Well, today I'll show you another new feature that's just been added to OpenToons that will do just that. And this one adds navigation tags to the timeline and X sheet panel. And this will be available from version 1.7 but you can download it today from the nightly build link on the OpenTunes downloads page. So once you've upgraded to a version with this feature in it, when you load a scene, you can go to any frame on your timeline and then right click and choose toggle navigation tag. And this adds a little tag on the timeline, this blue one here. And you can see I've already added a few other tags already in green, and these are saved in the scene, which is really handy. And the tags also move when you insert or remove frames using the X sheet menu item, insert frame or remove frame. You can see I've mapped them to a keyboard shortcut here. So if we go to frame two and insert some frames, you'll see the tags move along with frames three, five, seven, and the new one on frame nine. So let me just delete those back down here. So this makes it easy to keep them in line with your drawings. So now, I've got a few tags already in this scene, and now you can navigate between them. So you just right click on the timeline and choose next tag, and that goes to frame nine. Right click anywhere again, next again, 13, and to the new one on frame 17. Or choose previous tag to go to the previous ones. And for a short scene like this, you don't really see the benefit of having these tags, but imagine having 300 frames in your scene and it can be very, very handy. You can also select a frame and choose to edit a tag by choosing edit tag here. And in this dialogue, you can change the color and add a label, which I've already done to the first four tags. And for a walk cycle, that's really handy to mark the contact, the down, passing and up poses. So now if you hover over the tag, you'll see the name in the label. This also means if you right click on the timeline header and go to the tags flyout menu, you can see all of the tags you've added along with their labels, which makes it easy to jump to the right one knowing what it's used for. And I have two more quick tips that'll make using tags so much easier. First, instead of using them from the context menu, you can add buttons to your timeline toolbar to use them. So you just right click on the toolbar and choose Customize X Sheet Toolbar. And then from the menu commands, X Sheet folder here, just drag the tag commands that you want over to the left hand side. And it's handy to separate your commands from each other. So for the very bottom, you can choose the separator option. And let's drop that in here. Now if I press OK, you'll see the new buttons appear on the timeline toolbar. So now you can click these buttons instead of using the context menus. So I can choose to go to the previous and next frames here. I can edit the tag with the edit button. I can add new tags and toggle them with the toggle button. And I can remove all tags by clicking the remove tags button. And my final tip is that you can add keyboard shortcuts to these tags as well from the file configure shortcuts menu item and this dialog has a filter so you can type the word tag at the top here and now when you go to the menu commands X sheets folder you can see the five tag options that you can assign keyboard shortcuts to so if I go to the previous tag option I can just press the keyboard shortcut shift and left arrow and if that's all works okay you see shift and left appear on the right hand side here and then for next tag, I'll hold shift and the right arrow. And again, that appears at the right hand side of the dialog. So just close that. And now if I press shift left, I jump to previous tags and shift right, I jump to the following ones. Easy. So there's the new navigation tags, helpful for walking through your animation. So download the latest OpenTunes now and give it a go. And there's plenty more new features coming to OpenTunes soon that will help you. And you'll find the next one just here. 
But until then, I'll share another tip that I know will help you. And I'll see you next time for another new feature coming soon to Open Tunes. And that's a guarantee.